Have you ever read an article or maybe had your hairstylist talk to you about a hair oil and a hair serum, but you had no idea what the difference between those two products are? Stay tuned, I'm gonna break it down super easily for you to know exactly what the difference between those two products are and what you should be using on your hair. First, we're gonna talk all about oil. So oils or any of the oil products that you see out there, you wanna think coconut oil, avocado oil. And oil is going to help condition, moisturize, hydrate from your scalp all the way down to the ends of your hair. That can also even be your essential oil. Some people like supernatural products, so think lavender or even lemongrass. But all this does is really help moisturize your scalp or moisturize your hair from the inside out. Oil is gonna go in, penetrate, kind of really recondition or help make your hair feel a lot healthier using more of the oil-based hair products. You're gonna feel that your hair is going to be softer, it's gonna be shinier, and it's just gonna feel like it is a lot more moisturized and not nearly as dry. Now, let's move on to our serums. A lot of times people will confuse the two or think that they're interchangeable, but serums are more of a silicone or something similar to a silicone base product. So those are going to sit on top of your hair. Think more of your frizz tamers, flyaways, or even heat protectant. So something that you're gonna put on your hair that's going to really coat the outside of your hair to be a barrier of moisture or be a barrier for heat products. That is more of your serum-based hair products. All right, so the difference, your oil base similar to the Olaplex bonding oil, number seven, oil is all about conditioning, penetrating, moisturizing, adding tons of shine, and going inside those hair cuticles. Now serum, similar to Olaplex number nine, their nourishing serum, this is going to be a protectant, a barrier, something to protect against your heat, protect against the outside pollutants in the air, protect against anything that is not going to penetrate your hair shaft or your cuticle. This is going to lay on top of the hair. This is going to make your hair feel healthier. Healthier, moisturize, barrier, protect against outside pollutants or heat. Like I told you earlier, a lot of people confuse the two or think that they're interchangeable, but they are not. Sometimes, depending on your hair texture, sometimes you are not able to use serums. Everybody out there has talked a lot about silicone or silicone buildup on their hair, and that is what serums do. So if you have textured hair or you wear your hair curly and you like to see super great bouncy curls out of your hair, a serum can cause buildup. So for my textured hair gals, you may want to stay away from serum-based, silicone-based products. Not all serums are silicone based. Some of them have different products in them. I, if you want more information on which ones those are, please do not hesitate. Leave me a comment, reach out to me on any of my social media, and I will be happy to help you. But I'm not gonna talk about those today. This is just a video to explain the difference between the two. So serum for my curly haired gals, you may not wanna use it. Oil-based products can pretty much be used on everybody. So oil is gonna be for my drier hair gals. So those curly hair gals that have a little bit of texture and it's just naturally on the drier side, you are gonna to wanna to use more oil-based hair products. So I'm gonna show you a couple of those that I like. So Kenra, this is in oil, dry oil control spray. So this is also going to nourish gonna help tame those frizz. It is a little bit more like a hairspray, but it is oil-based. I love also Olaplex bonding oil. That is another really good one that I like to use on my hair. 
or you can also use any of like your glossing oils like this one from Joyco. This is Joyco's K-Pat Color Therapy in Luster Lock, so this is gonna add a lot of shine, but it is also going to penetrate and recondition the hair to make it feel a lot healthier. Now, so for my serums, again, like I said, if you have any texture to your hair, um, you wanna be careful of not using silicone-based products, but this can also be used to help with the frizz control. It's going to coat over the top of your hair so you're not gonna get any flyaways. Now, let's talk about my hair in particular. I don't wear it curly, I can get curl out of it, but I do use heating tools on my hair. So for my hair personally, I like to use both. My hair can handle it, I do not have super fine hair, Someone who has finer hair, you do want to be a little bit more careful with your oil-based products. Oil, you got to think of like your coconut oils, avocado oil. They have a really good kind of thick coating on them. And so if you have fine hair, you may notice it weighs your hair down. But don't you worry, you can still use them on your hair. I just suggest using it before you shampoo. Seems weird but it will still penetrate in your hair. So you will take any of your oil-based products, coat it on your hair. I'm gonna do it now so you can kind of see. Couple pumps of this oil-based product. Go from your mid shaft to your ends. Let it sit on your hair roughly about five minutes so it penetrates that hair. Then you can go in and shampoo your hair. It is still going to go into that hair shaft if you're using more of a sulfate-free shampoo or a more gentle shampoo, which if you have fine hair, you do need to use those. You will use that shampoo on you and it's going to remove kind of the heavier or the oil that weighs down your hair, but still adding moisture into it. So again, back to my hair, I have kind of a mixture. I have a lot of hair. I do have a lot of texture to it. My hair is actually on the finer side, but it can handle heavier products. So I just did the oil on my hair. Pretend I just got out of the shower. Then I will do the oil and then go in with my serum. Like I said, I like to use heating tools on my hair. So this is going to help protect my hair from my heat tools. It's going to make it so it's a less frizzy. It's going to protect against all of my heating tools that I use on my hair. And I do not wash my hair every day. So I will use a heating tool on my hair every single morning though. And this is going to help protect and create that barrier. Thank you hair serums. So I would put that on my hair. I always let my hair air dry. So I would let it air dry and then I am good to go. So I hope this video really helped you determine which one you need on your hair. Oil is going to moisturize, serum is going to be a barrier. If you guys have any questions at all on any of the products I showed you, or just on hair oils or hair serums, or if I need to clarify anything at all, please do not hesitate to leave that in the comment box below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a nice thumbs up. And as always, hit that red subscribe button before you go. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully that cleared up a little bit of the confusion of both hair serum and hair oil. And we will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.